guys, what's going on? Welcome back to my channel. My garden is looking very, very messy and unruly. I'm not liking it. It's got weeds all over it. There was a couple things that I didn't take into consideration when creating this little garden and using the tarp. The way that I laid out the tarps wasn't really planned as well as I could have planned it. There were some spaces on all of the ends. So today we're going to be weeding the garden, making it look all nice, taking all of those weeds out of there, and then covering up the spaces that have a couple of those weeds growing through in the walkway because it looks terrible. It's not what I wanted in the walkway, so we're gonna take care of that today. I did find this tool on Facebook, but then I went to Amazon. It's called Grandpa's Weeder. What it is, it's a prong looking thing. It goes into the weed grabs the root and then you press down and lean and it takes the root out of the ground. We're gonna be using this tool because I have tried everything I can to get these weeds out, including just pulling them. I can't seem to get to the root all the time. I've tried killing them with vinegar, even some Dawn dish soap. This didn't work, it killed the top leaves. So putting this vinegar on the leaves just basically burned the leaves, but it didn't get the roots. We need to try something different. And again, I was scrolling on Facebook, saw this cool little tool and thought, why not give this a try? It's a long tool, so you basically stand up and we're gonna try doing this in the whole garden and making it look all nice. We are definitely gonna be cleaning this garden up. I've got this thing called Grandpa's Weeder here. It's got this little catcher here and you grab onto the root, push it into the ground by pushing this pedal and then you uh, lean it this way. And this actually gives it leverage for these little pinchers to pull the root out. We're going to be focusing on the whole garden with this. I might even bring out the weed eater. Hopefully this works because I am running out of weeding options. The weeds are terrible. So we're gonna take care of this today and hopefully stay on top of it so that we don't have to do this so often. I'm gonna start in this garden right here. I guess you just go in the middle of it, push it down, and pull it out. Not too bad. I don't really know how you release it easily besides taking it out with your hands. I did water this down before I'm doing this so that it made it softer and easier for me to pull up. I'm gonna get some gloves on so that I can readily pull this stuff off as the roots come out. Not bad, whole thing came out. I'm just gonna make a pile right here. So not too bad so far. I got a few clumps. I got them out of there. I got them out of there. It's pretty easy to do. I did wet this down before I weeded. It's actually showing that it may be too soft. I'm thinking these pinchers, these rippers at the end of this grandpa's weeder might work better if we don't wet it down first. So I might be trying both methods, but I've already wet down these gardens and we're going to continue to see if we can pull these out of here. Maybe the wetness will make it easier for the bigger weeds to come out. You have to think that we've got all of these that we have to take care of. I don't know if that tool is actually going to get to the root of that. We'll, we'll try it, but we'll see what happens.
this garden is starting to look a little bit better. I did test out one of these and I took out the roots. It is a little bit harder to do. I'll show you guys how it's done on these ones over here, but then I brought out this stuff to cover it with so that that doesn't happen again. And that's the less work that I have to do each time that I come out here to weed. Okay, before I finish in the inside of the gardens, I'm going to take these, the rest of this tarp, I'm going to put them in the spots that are growing all of the weeds in the middle so that I can just take care of that now. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There's 10 of them that we have to cover. So that's going to be so much better the next time we have to weed because we won't have to do the middle walkway. Maybe the only thing we're gonna to have to deal with is some of this stuff creeping out here, but if we stay on top of it, then hopefully that won't happen. Let's do this. These are already pre-cut. They do have a lot of these squiggly things coming off of them because of the way I cut it. So I'm gonna be folding these in, the two corners in so that all of that stays hidden because if I need to come weed eat in here, then I don't want those to get caught up in the weed eater. So all we need is about this much. Using landscape pins to put it in there. This does the trick. No weeds will grow under here. ahead and covered all of those. Hopefully the weeds won't be growing up in those spaces anymore and I will no longer have to worry about weeding that area. This garden's looking a little bit better. This one's looking a little bit better. Still have to work on this one and then we've got to tackle this one. <music> The watermelon garden seems to be doing much better. I weeded around this area right here, still working on this other side. I may or may not move those to get inside there. At least the watermelons are growing on top of the crates, which is a good thing. So I'm gonna hit this section right here. Section's looking good. I might hit this section in here, maybe do it with my hands. Get this section in here. And then we're going to work on the onion garden. There's onions in there. I did go ahead and sprayed off all of the tarp because all of that mud was on there. Quite honestly, I think it's looking a lot better than it was before. For getting under these cucumber plants, all I did was move the, move these big old branches to get underneath them. 
And then later on, I'm gonna be building a trellis for them so that I can get under there easier and so that they're off the ground. Honestly, I think that was really exhausting. It was not as easy as I thought it was going to be, but to be honest, it was easier using that tool rather than the methods that I was using before. Moving forward, next year I'm going to be probably putting tarp over all of the grass and dirt, so over all the gardens, and then I'm going to be putting slits through where the I want the plant to grow through. And this will help me not have to weed so much because it grows just like the grass. Every week to two weeks, I am in there weed eating and pulling weeds. And we want to try to do the least amount of that as we can. I hope you guys are learning something from my channel. If you liked this video, please give it a big thumbs up and don't forget to hit that subscribe button below and click the notifications bell so you can receive a notification every time I post a new video, which is every Sunday. Thanks guys so much for watching. I will see you in the next video. When that, don't put that.